Okay. Here we are. We're on the bus. I got a couple extra things on the bus. I'm going to try my hardest not to show you what we've already done. It's not in this video. Today's video is all about priming the bus, which is not number one. It's number three. And yes, we'll show you the color. Number three. So that's at the end of the video. The other thing is we've got our flooring and insulation going in. We're securing the plywood down to the floor past the insulation. Boom. Got Walker helping me do that. And then the number three thing is I'm pretty intimidated by, and that is dealing with the two back corners. We cut them a smidge too high. And so I'm having to fabricate some metal, bend it around. I say glue, but it's not really glue. It's nail. Well, it is liquid nail. <laughs> Love that stuff. Liquid nail, some silicone. We got more rivets, that kind of thing. That won't take super long, but I will show you how I went through that very intimidating process. And then uh, we'll show you the primer. All right, stay tuned, hit the subscribe button. If you haven't subscribed yet, come along on this journey with us and we'll show you how not only we build the bus, but how in just a few more days, we are gonna take off and go full time on this bad boy, even though it's not done. Yes, that's right. The time of our lives when we should be settling down, we are revving it up. That's how Jim and I work. So stay tuned, hit the subscribe button, come along on this journey with us. Okay, so we're going out to the bus today. It is already in the 90s today. The inside of the bus is hot as blazes. We have not cut out our windows yet. So um, I'm gonna show you. I have lassoed the help of my youngest son, Walker. We have, I think, two and a half weeks at this point, not even two and a half weeks before we leave this house and go full time into the bus. And the bus will not be done. There it is. Four by eight sheets, seven of them, that we will cut and put into the bus on the flooring. These are one inch, and so the ratings for these are an R5. If I can show you, I'm upside down with it. I'll do it that way, we'll do it this way. They're an R5, one inch thickness, and um, they're very, very firm. So those are going in the subflooring under, like, so it goes on, on the bus, Underneath the plywood, underneath the actual flooring. What do we got going on? We're cutting, measuring, or measuring and cutting the foam for the flooring. Why is that one not working? This one, because we forgot to measure and cut correctly. Because well, we cut it lengthwise, side lengthwise by side. correctly. You know, this way, correctly. But we've got some but, captain's chairs in the way. You know, we got the chair that should go there. And then the steps kind of come in right there. Nice. Ish. All right, so now, taping, duct tape to the actual Insulation. That's the last piece to go in. Apparently, subflooring, which is plywood, is coming in tonight. So you take this drill, right? And since this one has a plus right here, a longer bit on it, it could reach the metal on all the way through. It was important that we put the plywood in directly over the insulation. This saved us time, this saves us some money. And what we ended up doing was putting in three inch wood screws to anchor the plywood down so that it wouldn't shift. It anchored into the actual metal of the bus. Okay. 
Walker went off to work and I finished out. Here's the secret. Do not be afraid to use a lot of screws. That way it doesn't shift, it doesn't squeak, it doesn't move. Flooring is now screwed in. We had a little trouble with some bits. We had trouble using screws. We had to have the right bits on the right screwdrivers. Subflooring is officially in. <laughs> if you look on that corner, right? I am going to cut a metal piece, fabricate it in, and drill holes through it and put the piece up there so we don't have any leaks. And then I will rivet it and silicone that bad boy. That's what's next on the agenda. None of anything that I'm doing, other than holding a drill in my hand, nothing, and maybe measuring some stuff. I welded back in like eighth grade. I'm 50. <laughs> None of this is comfortable for me to do. There is no blueprint really for doing any of this. intimidating you know fabricating a piece of metal so that we don't have a leak and doing silicone and bending it the way I need to which is just me pounding a hammer on it and then drilling holes into it making sure I get the right holes and then putting the right size rivets I mean you guys this is at times intimidating and overwhelmed with the whole project important to look at one thing at a time. Focusing on one thing so that you don't get overwhelmed by the all of it. And really what you need to look at is the one thing that's right in front of you. Deep breaths. Be right here, right now. Be in this moment. You know, it's okay. It's okay. Little by little, step by step. Right? That is all I'm gonna focus on. How did I learn that? <laughs> Just doing it. Ta-da! Back corner finished. Okay, so today's the day. We are prepping the bus for the primer. We are literally plastic coating a lot of stuff, including those windows, bumpers, that kind of thing, taping, blah, blah, blah. It takes all day. Did you know you can tint your primer? Literally, in this little jar, we are mixing the paint thinner, this is mineral spirits, right there. We're using one-tenth this, nine-tenths this. This is just primer, oil-based, for metal. There it is, for metal. Ta-da!
getting really dark out here. But we've got to get the primer on the bus. We are mostly done. And it does look kind of green in this video. But to look at the bus, it looks as blue as my shirt. So here we go. I'm gonna finish off taping up two windows and then I'm gonna finish priming the back of the bus. And then I gotta go clean it all out. Is it worth it? Heck yes, it's worth it. Jim and I get to travel around living full time in our RV. This is gonna be awesome. So worth it. But we're really clear on what it is that we want. the lawn we got the sun shining out we are wanting to tell you that we were not able to actually show you in this video the actual painting or the name of the color so we want to show you that in the next video we're gonna have an extra video this week Thursday night I will put out the actual painting of the bus video and then some of the stuff we've done inside as you can see we're a little further along than what these videos are showing. I like doing that. Peek, there we go. I want to be able to tell you, there's some more insulation. I want to be able to tell you what we have up and coming. Every Saturday we have a video that's released and this week we're going to release an extra video on Thursday night. We may even release two because everyone's asking, about my haircuts, and so yes, I cut my own hair. I do that because it's been a quarantine. Now I used to have red hair about down to here, 16 or so inches I've cut off, and at this point I just chop up my hair. Probably every three or four days I start cutting it. Anyway, so if you wanna check out that video, it's up, up there. Stay tuned for Thursday night. I will release it about 7 p.m. And Saturday about noon to 3 right in there. I'm trying to get it right at noon for you guys. Because that's when everybody's on. So anyway, thanks so much for watching the video. Thanks for coming along on our journey. Thank you for subscribing and sharing this video. Make sure you hit the bell notifications. So you get notified every time we release one of these bad boys. And um, countdown is still happening. Jim and I and the kids actually for a few days hopefully not too long, we'll be on the road. I don't think we're actually leaving Asheville right away, so stay tuned, and we just really appreciate you for coming along. Mwah! Bye for now.